Hi everyone, Giant Size here, otherwise known as Chris, and we're back on Uru. It's in our Mist series, and last time we finished off, we were in the middle of that new area, working on the machinery and trying to figure out what it did, and then we quit out, so this is where it brings you back when you come in. And the reason why I'm not bringing you back straight away to that area is something has changed. Something has changed here. So let's look at it. So I went to go run in to see the books, what are these? I went in to go see the books to take us to that area. What is this? Why are there, like, look at, okay, so. That's super strange. So two whites, a blue, red, and a yellow. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna just leave those here for now. Um, let's try to remember where we went. Was it... Let's just take a look in some of these books. Let's try to remember where we went. I don't know if we found an actual handprint in the new area, did we? This looks right. Let's try this. Let's try this. Because that, that's the symbol of the area we're in, so. We're going to go and explore the machines some more. Okay, yeah, so this is... So we had just gotten... We just figured this out. And got it activated. So let's take a little look up here and try to figure out where we are again. Windmill's going now. Try to re-familiarize ourselves familiarize ourselves with what we were trying to do. So, this way leads back. Yeah. Yes. Now, I think there's still a switch back here that we missed that we haven't activated. I don't remember where it was, but I vaguely remember um, when I was editing, I saw it. And I was like, oh, we need to make sure we go back and activate that. And I think it might have been down here. So let's just do that really quick. And then we'll head back to the machine room um, where we were before. Let's go see if we can find this. I think it was in here. Yeah, right here. Okay, hopefully there's just the one um, switch and there's an, another one on the other side. We'll go see what that did. So hopefully everyone's doing good. Um, hopefully everyone's been enjoying the Mist series. I know I have, now that we've kind of made some progress and found our way a bit. Hopefully we can make some more progress today and try to unlock some of the, the confusing aspects of what's going on here. Alright. Let's continue on and try to get back to that far chamber. So remember we did this. So if we look at this now, okay, so we still do need to activate this side of it. Alright, let's go do that. I think we're going to have to activate every section. And I'm guessing I was supposed to have, you know, activated those as we came in um, and discovered our way through and, and that then they would have all been done, but obviously missed them a little bit. Alright, so Ella, our stairs are here. So, I'm guessing there's another switch over on this side that we can 
can get. Yeah, it's gonna be up here. If it's the same spot, yeah, I think I see it. There it is on the wall. So we'll activate that. There we go. Beauty. All right, let's head back. This is an interesting area because I feel like we're trying to turn on this big machine. We don't really know what it does. And there's all these, like, the numbers. Which is interesting. playing a lot of Minecraft lately, um, and The Witness, of course, so I've got a bunch of Witness videos ready, filmed, ready to start coming out more, which is great. Um, I wanted to get some more mist up because people have been enjoying it. Uh, I don't know if I'll be getting any mist, uh, Wit Minecraft. I don't think I'll be getting any Minecraft up because it's not, um, it's more multiplayer uh, on the server, which is what I, I play on Twitch a lot of the time. We've been doing some pretty crazy stuff on there. I've been doing it off stream and then getting it ready for on stream and yeah, it's pretty cool. Time consuming one. Admits to work and all that. Alright, so that should be turned on. Yep. Now, you see how these are still gray on the edges and coming into the middle? Does that mean there's a switch somewhere that they need to be turned on? Also, so like if we sit down and we go to that section of the blueprint now, if we can remember how to do this. Down here. Are there any options? No. Okay. Hmm, I wonder if there's switches for this somehow. They'd be off in the edges of the fan area. I mean, okay, so if they are, yeah, let's take a look. Because this is the, the spinny, not a fan, but that's the spinny thing. So they'd be off on the edges here. Were there switches out here? we didn't see? Maybe up there somehow? Oh my god, I know I can get in there. Just... So remember we came down here before. Was this the one with the symbol or the one where um, it led us to the next section? I think it led us to the next section. So maybe we won't be able to activate those little... Maybe those pieces are just... They're actually activated. They're not. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. We'll keep our eyes open for switches. So this room, we haven't really figured out. Oh, there's a switch. that do anything out here? I mean, it provided power. Was that always spinning? Yeah, I think it was. Okay, so we gotta figure out this area, basically. So we don't know what this does. Okay. Okay. Oh god, we're getting... Lift it up. All right. All right. Well, we're up here now. 
Let's head out a door and see what we can find. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Okay, so we're on an upper platform. What is this? Did we just get a backpack? Did, did we are I don't think we had that before. But it didn't actually give us anything? How do I... Is there any way to like... What the hell? Okay, well we have a backpack. I wonder if that's just aesthetics. Um, let's go down here. Wow, okay. I'm just slowly gathering gear, apparently. He wears, like... Okay, can we just take a moment to comment on his watch? Why does he wear his watch? Like an absolute lunatic. Aha! So if we activate that, that means we'll teleport back here next time. Right? Because we couldn't, you know, step over that rock. Interesting. Pages to places. I don't know if we've been. That does something. There's a lever. There's something weird on the back of it. Alright, let's try the button. Nothing. Let's try the lever. Nothing. I, uh, obviously, I want to go to both of these, but... Let's try this one. More numbers. Okay. Um, let's get a photo. These, do you think these are important? It's like... I bet they are, honestly. I think they're important because it looks like it's settings for things like this one, a little bit lower. Um, I think it doesn't hurt to take a photo of it. This one, you know, pointing at this of the clock. This looks like a clock to me, kind of. Three, so... Noon, one, two, one, two, three, three, I don't know. Who knows? Might as well grab some photos of them. Oops. Hard to remember which buttons do which. Okay, um, what's down here? Anything? I wish I could see down there. So this is just a dead end? That kind of sucks. Alright, um, so I guess we have to go back through here, because this is our only escape. And then we'll go back to that area we just were, and we'll try the other one. So that was one of these. I think it's this one. Yeah, so this should theoretically take us back to the last one we touched. <laughs> Alright, let's try the other half, the actual book.
Okay. That leads back to that room, which is nice. So is this going to be like a control panel up here or something? I wish you would climb faster. Maybe this will be a control panel of some sorts. And we'll get to enter all these numbers in. Another number. Let's grab a photo of it. Is there nothing up here but numbers? It's weird, it's when I walk forward on here and I let go, I kind of drift. Like I slide. Ooh, that's weird. Some weird physics going on on this platform. This looks like a door, right? Like. So, what's this trying to tell us? I'm going to take a photo of it just in case. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. Switchy things, but so before there was like a button. We can't push these. It's like it's supposed to be holding something. All right. Well, that sucks. That feels like it's a bit of a dead end. A bit of a dead end. See how these ones are kind of more not pointing up, they're kind of locked down. Okay, so I, I think we need to somehow get this machine all working. That's just my assumption, is somehow we have to get it all to work and do something. Push this back down and we'll go keep exploring. So we still have to go that that way. This way was the place we were before. So we haven't really looked at these. It feels like I should be able to interact with this somehow. Look at these are those symbols we saw. This one's pointing in the wrong direction. This is fine. That I think is fine. all mean yeah okay so they're all I'm just trying to figure out what what section this is like kind of correlating to It 
just doesn't feel like there's much power to this section, it does it? The switch is on. Okay, let's go back and look. Maybe um, now that, I mean, the switch is thrown, we'll be able to do something from the um, control room area. So those pictures on the wall that we took were definitely relating to those gauges in there. So that's a good hunch. All right, it's been 20 minutes, so we're gonna keep going a little bit more. I just wanna go and check out this control room um, for this episode, but I feel like we're making some progress, which is good. Like we're, we're exploring this place a little bit more trying to figure out, you know, what everything means. Alright, so here's the, this, yeah, this is the control room. It all mostly appears lit up, right? Okay, so if we go, stop it. We'll leave these alone for now. Let's see if so. There's stuff we could do here. Remember? So like this one. So what if we turned all these on? Would that? Would that allow us to... which way was it? Is it this way? I think it's this way. Oh. Well, it is this way, we just can't get this way. Damn. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering whether that would allow us to, like, tinker with the machines now, like, if they'll be turned on, you know what I mean? We'll see. I wish this was a little faster to get um, where we want to go. Of course, you can't just, you know, the bridge has to be broken, so you have to run all the way out here, back and forth. It's definitely a, a game design that I don't appreciate from older games, is the meaningless um, time wastes that don't add anything to the story. Like, sure, this was a little bit to find, but that's about it. After that, after we found it, it's just big like a detour to move effectively five feet in the game like to get across that little broken bridge we have to do this big loop out through this ladder and the tunnel and everything to bypass this break is it really needed you know it's the same for like you think of some of the games where it's just back and forth across the con like the map to complete a mission okay were these red lights on before Oh, we can move these now. Oh, no. How are we going to know? Okay, so yellow. So how are we going to know how much to, to move these? for each section. Right? Because if we look at our pictures... How do we do that? This one? So... This one's definitely pointing down. And this one, you know, this left side's balanced lower. What does that mean? Oh. OK. 
Okay. Um, I'm guessing once we have the right combination or what have you, that thing will do something. How do we know? So we've seen a lot of numbers. Okay, I'm going to leave this one here, I think, and then we're going to try to figure out this a little bit more in the next episode because this one's going to get confusing. So I hope you enjoyed. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next Euro video.